All right, flat rate VAT, what is it and should I join it? So basically the flat rate VAT scheme is a simple way for people to be VAT registered but without all the upkeep of making sure you've got VAT receipts and counting up basically how much VAT you've paid per receipt and everything against how much VAT you've billed. So rather than doing all this complex calculation and all that stuff, rubbish basically, uh, <laughs> then you can use just a percentage based on your trade sector. Obviously there have been some changes to the scheme where you become a limited cost trader if you don't have enough expenses going through the company each month. I have a video for that which you can find linked in the description and hopefully linked up here somewhere. So um, aside from that you get a percentage that is basically multiplied on your invoice value. So it's the invoice value plus the VAT amount of 20% and that total, both of those together, gets multiplied by whatever percentage you are on. So it's, it goes by trade sector, so certain sectors will have a much lower percentage, which means they get a bigger gain back into their company by being able to bill 20% but only paying HMRC a smaller percentage of that as their liability. So there's like this difference that your company gets to keep to go against its costs. I'll actually link a the list of the percentages down below in the description box so feel free to check those out if you're looking at the flat rate scheme otherwise there's a few things you should keep in mind before you register on the flat rate VAT scheme and that is basically do you need to be VAT registered number one if your turnover is less than 85,000 then you don't need to 85,000 pounds <laughs> then you don't need to be registered on any VAT scheme if you don't want to so but if you do need to be registered, then flat rate is an option for you and it's perfect for people that don't have that many costs running to, through the business. If you are trading, for example, if you are a plumber or if you're a builder or you basically have a lot of costs going through the business all a lot of costs going through the business all the time that have that charged on to them, you'll be better off on the standard rate scheme probably. It really depends on the amount of that you're spending each month versus the amount you're billing. So uh, your accountant will usually be able to decide which one's better for you by looking at what you've been charging and billing and expensing to your company. And number two, obviously you can't claim back any expenses on the flat rate scheme because you're doing just a fixed percentage of your invoicing and your company essentially makes a bit of money on each invoice because it gets to the whole difference in cost, what you bill versus what you pay. Um, so because of that, you can't reclaim any of that on your expenses apart from one exception. So if you're buying capital purchases, capital assets for your company, if you need to buy a piece of equipment and it costs £2,000 or more, including that, remember the including that part, you can actually reclaim the VAT on that purchase because it is a one-off large purchase as a company asset. So the flat rate scheme is perfect for people that don't have that many expenses running through the company or got an average amount of expenses but the, because of the percentage they're actually covering their costs in VAT each month by being on the flat rate scheme, those people will benefit the most from it. If you're a trader type person and you've got loads of costs going through the business then it might not be worth going on the flat rate scheme just because you'll be worse off. I know there's more bookkeeping to do that way so you'll have to kind of like leverage the cost, you have to leverage it in your own head but ultimately you'll be better off in the standard rate scheme, you'll save more money that way. And yeah, flat rate scheme, I mean you just do your VAT returns every three months like your normal VAT return, it's just that you've got to multiply take all your invoices during the three months, multiply them each by the percentage because they'll include the VAT and that's it. Of course if you've got individual customers like people that you're billing directly, not other businesses, then you might not want to be registered for that unless you absolutely have to be. Keep in mind as well if your company's turnover is over £150,000 a year then you cannot register on the flat rate scheme. There is a cap on that unfortunately. So it's kind of what the flat rate VAT scheme is if you're looking at it potentially working out for your company uh, or even sole trader if you think that's a better way because you just can't deal with keeping all of your VAT receipts and stuff like that and you just want a simple way to be VAT registered then this is an option for you. Um, most of our clients are like contractor type people who 
either wanted to get VAT registered because of the benefit of the flat rate scheme, so they weren't hitting the threshold or anything, or they had to be VAT registered and they chose that option because it was easier for them to do their own bookkeeping that way. So that's kind of like who would look at the flat rates VAT scheme. And that is the gist of it. Obviously if you need help with the VAT scheme yourself for your personal circumstances, then please feel free to contact us on our website juniperlinks.com. I'll put the link in the description box below. Or you can also email us here. I should put it up on the screen. Um, directly email us and we will get you some help. So thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you again next time. <laughs>